Rob here. And it's day number two of the uh, 10 Guns in 10 Days Challenge uh, issued by Tim Miller over at Treetop Outdoors. Uh, I'll leave a, we'll put a hashtag in this to Tim's channel and, uh, uh, but check him out. And uh, for day number two, I've chosen the uh, Savage 62. Kind of, kind of works out that uh, I just put an M Carbo uh, spring crit in the trigger of this and I haven't got to shoot it yet. It's been so rainy and I've been working and so I haven't got to shoot it since uh, I put the uh, spring kit in it and a uh, little bit of rust on the barrel. Uh, so I thought, well, we'll just kill two birds with one stone, but this is a Savage 62. Picked this up for Walmart at $99. Uh, I noticed uh, Ted Nicholas over at Nicholas uh, Family Adventures. I think that's the name of it. Uh, this was his uh, day one rifle, so uh, I thought I'd pull mine out. We'd just test it with the M Carbo trigger kit and uh, see what it does. It did uh, reduce the uh, trigger pull on it uh, quite a bit. So I got the same target I had for yesterday's video down there. Uh, we're gonna stop it, start at the top right and we're gonna shoot two or three groups with this five shot groups and uh, just uh, see what we can do with it. Like I said, this is Savage 62, they were 99 bucks at Walmart. They probably went up now because everything else has. Uh, everything's gotten ridiculous, but uh, let's take a few shots down there, 25 yards. Uh, we're shooting the CCI standards, and uh, we'll uh, see what we can do. I'm thinking I already put one in the barrel. I'm thinking. As you can see, this trigger has a lot of a lot of slop in it. I think my target down there is actually crooked. <laughs> Need to level up my target board down there. All right, let's see what we can do with this Savage 62 at 25 yards. Well, something has definitely went around on this. <laughs> I shot, God, let's try that again. Ain't no way I could have missed that much. Is my scope loose? No. Wow. Let me adjust a little bit on this scope and we'll come back because uh, I shot to the far right, I actually hit the steel gong over there. So something, something's went awry on this. So let me work on it a minute and we'll come back. All right. Well, maybe I put this scope on here and uh, hadn't uh, zeroed it in yet. I don't know. I might have to go back and watch the video and see what I actually had on this gun last time I shot it. Could be I changed scopes and didn't zero, uh, but I was way off. And uh, so I got us, I think we we're pretty close. Uh, we're just shooting for a group anyway and looking at the gun. Uh, $99 Savage at Walmart. And uh, I'm going to take uh, five shots bottom left, five shots bottom right, and uh, then we'll go down and take a look. And I'll kind of show you where I've been. I've been all over the place with this thing. The wind's picking up a little bit now. Now is when I should have had my little wind gauge out here. But it wasn't blown before, so I took it back in. It's in the range bag in the house. I'm gonna have to check his scope uh, and make sure that I actually tighten it down. It doesn't feel loose, but this gun shoots better than that.
it has helped the trigger, but it's still from a way long way from a target trigger. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, let's take it. Let's walk down. To, I got five more rounds. Let's just shoot them. Only brought out one box of CCIs, and they used a good portion of them zeroing this back in, or close to zeroing. This gun has always shot better than this. I'm gonna have to check uh, my connections and everything. Make sure I'm good and solid. Sometimes I do things and then I forget whether I've done them or not. We're going to aim at the top of the triangle. The center triangle. Light striker didn't get one in. Guess it didn't load one in. Feel like I might have pulled that one a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna have to check this scope out, but uh, we'll walk down and take a look at it and uh, see how it looks down there. It's not great. This gun has shot better at in the past. Uh, maybe I was shooting a different ammo. I don't know. Like I said, I'll have to go back the last time I shot it and see what it done. Anyway, let's walk down there and take a look. There's a better look at the gun itself. Got the Edinburgh on it. That's a, a 3 to 12. Just got the uh, CV Life carbon fiber stock on it there, or bipod. And uh, yeah. Let's walk down and take a look. So first shot was right there and I actually hit the steel target. I got it in my paper over a little too far, I guess. And then I started zeroing it in to right here. Uh, last shot was that one at the top of the, or the bottom of the center diamond. And then we moved down to here. Not a great group. Over to here, not a great group. And then up to here, still not a great group. So I'm going to have to see what's going on with that scope. Alright guys, that's it for day number two of the uh, 10 Guns and 10 Day Challenge. Savage 62, $99 Walmart rifle. I did put the M Carbo uh, spring kit in the trigger, which did help the trigger. Uh, but I hadn't shot it since, so i uh, going to have to check my scope. I don't know what's going on there. We might have something loose. It doesn't feel loose, but... Eh. It could be. So, anyway, till day number three, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate you. And until the next video, and don't forget to check out Tim Miller at Treetop Outdoors. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.